Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, core section on designing models in this course Mastering Generative AI. So the purpose of this section is to give you an in-depth view of designing models and we're going to do that in almost like 35, 36 lectures. So hold your horses, go slowly and there's a lot of meat in this section. And in this particular lecture, we will give you a, a quick overview of how to create and develop new generative models tailored to specific applications like NLP, image generation, music composition or other creative tasks. So there's a lot of stuff in this lecture, starting with this, uh, this section and starting with this lecture. So the, the whole uh, designing models is a part of the uh, whole, the whole process of model development and optimization. The first step as we will cover in this section in designing model. The next section we will talk about training models and then we will talk about op optimizing the performance. So let's look at the core of designing models in this uh, lecture. So creating and developing a new generating model tailored to specific applications involve several steps from understanding the problem domain to implementing and fine-tuning the models. Now, what are the various things you can do? Let's take a look at what is the approach uh, this process has for different applications like NLP, image generation, music compositions, compositions and other creative tasks. So there are four parts of creating and developing new generative model, four phases if I were to say. Uh, the first uh, phase is understanding the problem domain and what that is means we will talk about as we go forward. The second is about data collection and pre-processing. Then you start coming to choose the appropriate model architecture and there's a lot in that we will see as we go forward. And finally you get into model implementation by doing a few things that we will talk about later. So let's start by looking at the first step of understanding the problem domain. What do we do in understanding the problem domain? Any thoughts? Right. So there are two things you do in understanding the problem domain. Now the first one is to define the objective, right? In which you clearly define your what you aim to achieve with the generative model, right? So is it about generating realistic images, composing music, generating content, te coherent text, etc. So that's what you define. So what is it that you want to generate? You define your objective. Then you gather the domain knowledge for that domain. The domain knowledge for music is different, for the images is different, for text is different. So you study specific requirements and characteristics of the domain like linguistic patterns uh, for NLP, musical structures for composition, etc, etc. And how do we do that? We will take a look at as we go forward in the next lecture. So in the next lecture, we will talk about how to gather the domain knowledge like linguistic patterns and musical structures uh, as we go forward in the next lecture. So thank you so much for watching this first lecture on designing models in this uh, course, Master in Generative AI. I hope you are continuing to learn new things, continuing to enjoy. And I do look forward to see you again in the next lecture. Please feel free to message me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer your question. And also download the PDF file to take a look at anything that is of specific interest to you.